Goro. Go to your cell. I don't know if you've noticed, but um, we happen to have airplanes that <laughs> the Air Force or the Navy or whatever their pilots can get into and like fly through the atmosphere into space for four hours or six hours or some shit. Kind of chill, look around, do some research, whatever we're doing, you know. Whatever, fly back to Earth, it's an airplane, man, and land it. Everyday mission, dog. Could do that three times a day for six hours if we wanted to, 18 hour days. I know they made us do that when we're building bombs for them, so, you know, why wouldn't they fly their pilots like that? And anyway, um, you know, those are planes that probably most people don't even know about. Do some research, man. Google it. Use your imagination. I won't even tell you what to Google. You just look for it. I bet you find it. So, maybe you learn something, if nothing else, you know. So, crazies everywhere. It's, it's nuts. But the UFOs are bringing the zombies. I keep telling you that, man. Rate, vote, subscribe, blow me up. All right, guys. I'm out. I hope you dig it. I kind of changed the direction of the channel a little bit, man. I mean, there's so much crazy shit going on in the world that it's like, I don't know, it seems kind of necessary. So, um, I don't know, I hope you're digging it. But I'll get back into the, you know, the corporations and all that crap. But, I don't know, it seems like there's some bigger issues going on in the world today. So, check it out. But uh, thanks for subscribing to my channel and hanging out. And uh, I hope you're digging it. And, uh, we'll see you on the next one. I don't know what I'm doing. There's so much craziness going on in the world. But I gotta throw my two cents in, man. Or else you'd think I'm normal. So, subscribe. Do it. Do it now. It's scary. Nazi aliens or Nazi greys, a terrorist organization responsible for the tsunami in Japan, have just released a chemical weapon known as Z1H1 onto United States soil. Uh, yeah, so we're going to give you 33,000 drones, and uh, then you're going to let us do whatever we want with them because it's classified. So, like, we just, we're going to give them to you. They're going to be yours, but uh, we get to run them. Right now, the future of unmanned spy planes takes flight. The military is testing a new generation of drones. They are faster and harder to detect. Here's an animation of one called the X-47B. This bat-winged drone is expected to carry laser-guided bombs and even take off from aircraft carriers, giving it worldwide reach. Do whatever we want, classified, you on a need-to-know basis. And then when we clean up a little bit, then they're yours. Unless we need them for something. The unmanned drone program in the early stages of the war, so he knows these things well. He's now CEO of Invisum, an education and training technology firm. General Marks, I was amazed when I saw, uh, the, first of all, what this thing looks like. It, it, it's very much like a, one of the stealth bombers we have in our fleet, but there's no pilot. It's all controlled remotely, right? It is. In fact, uh, the one you just saw is programmed. A uh, pilot will program what the flight profile is going to look like, what the mission set is going to look like, and then that thing launches and it does its thing. Certainly you can adjust it in flight, but these are all remotely done, either piloted remotely or programmed in advance of launching. And what it gives you is an amazing capability, and the, and the unmanned aerial vehicle platform program has just exploded over the course of the last 15, 20 years. What capabilities do they give us that we don't have now in something like the Predator drones? Well, in this particular case, what you're seeing with these new UAVs 
is uh, an ability to operate at extremely high altitudes. We're, we're talking in excess of 60,000 feet in one particular instance with one of these UAVs. Um, that's not been done before. And so it really is a complement of capabilities that exists right now. You have your satellites, which do tremendous work for us. They're geosynchronous and have other types of relationships to the Earth. But those things are only available when they pass during that, over that particular piece of uh, terrain or for a particular mission. These UAVs at these high altitudes can act in a certain degree with a degree of autonomy because they're outside of the air, the ground to air threats that might exist with some of our future competitors. And they're flexible. I mean, they've got a tremendous look down angle. They can cover an incredible amount of space. The amount of data that they can suck up is incredible. And so I would say the one downside is you can get into what's called data overload but that can be addressed through and, a bunch of software programs and great analysts on the ground. And I know that they've been testing one of these things fueled with hydrogen. What does that mean in terms of capability? Well, first of all, it's green. and Liquid hydrogen um, helps in that particular instance and in that it doesn't uh, emit any pollutants. Um, but it's also got a long track record. You know, liquid hydrogen has been used in NASA for the shuttle program since the 70s. So it's got a long track record. It works extremely well. And it's plentiful. It can be used, and in this form, it provides a great capability. You know, these, these high-altitude UAVs, these drones, can, in some cases, can stay at altitude for five to seven days, wow. clearly exceeding the current capabilities. General. So it's a great complement. It's a great complement to what exists today. Retired General James Spider Marks, good to have you on. Thank you. You can also check out Blaze Records as one of my YouTube channels, um, and there's links to all my channels somewhere in the description or, or the channel description or whatever you just might have to do a little bit of homework so uh, sorry but uh, that's how I roll <laughs> so this week's homework assignment is to uh, let's do videos on uh, those new drones that they're they're finally showing us just think these are the drones are showing you now uh, dude they were flying planes when I was in Desert Storm and I didn't realize it, but it was basically the stealth bomber at the time. So 20 years ago, that was the plane they were flying. And I didn't even know it was a, you know, stealth bomber at the time while I was in 19 or whatever. So, like, they're just now showing us, you know, what the current thing is, which means they're 20 years ahead of that, at least 15. So just think about it. Look at those unmanned drones. That they're, unmanned drones that are the size of two cars. Two cars, you've seen them carting them all over the countries on the back of semis with the wings off of them, man, and a little tarp on them. They look like a UFO, and everybody's like, oh my god, what the fuck? That's the unmanned drones that they're getting ready to fly that have the facial recognition. I see Bobby and Billy and Jimmy and Joni, and oh, hey, there's my friend that waves to me every day. Oh, that's the one we're looking for! Get him! Get him! Can I get him? I can get them? Can I get them, sir? <laughs> Imagine. All right, soldiers, check it out. I want video responses, man. Stop sitting there looking at that and going, yeah! Make a video, dude. Come on. You got a camera phone. It's not that hard. Be creative. There are lots of places online to do it for free or whatever. It doesn't have to be fancy, but just... Do a video response, man, because it's the thing to do, man. It's the new millennium. we got a millennium to uh, figure out how to reverse this m magnetic reversal thing for our force field. Weren't you watching those other people's videos? You should do that. Do some research. The information's out there. The stuff they don't want us to know. Anyway, subscribe, vote, all that cool stuff, man. And uh, get involved, dude. I want to see your videos, too. So uh, let's see your side of things. Unless you think I'm one of them loonies.
have our ways of making you talk. You will have a video response by the end of the day. Or we will kill you. I remember back in 1981. I'm a to the pain. The walk to your pain. You make me this much